Hello, hello, hello. I'm live again. <laughs> Yesterday, I came on because I was... What did I want to talk about? I talked yesterday about the frequency of retightenings, right? And today, I wanted to talk about stretchy locks. Now, I'm new to being live, so please excuse me if you comment and I'm struggling to read it. I'll try and read your comments this time because last, last time I wasn't able to read your comments. But stretchy locks. So I wanted to talk to you about... So this is for anyone who has small size locks, sister locks, and it's stretching. Reasons why your fine small sister locks are stretching. So what you will find is sometimes just along the locks, there is, it just weakens and it starts separating. One reason could be interlocking. Just because you've pulled that, the consultant or yourself has pulled that lock through, it catches. African hair is curly coily. There's hair sticking around, sticking up. Also, you know, sister locks is not. It's just that it's knotted with an interlocking tool right? That is still trying to create knots. And sometimes, depending on your African texture hair, that knot, that lock bunches up with the way it's interlocked. Sometimes consultants make a mistake, right? With interlocking and then they create accidental knots. So what you're going to find along your sister lock, sometimes you'll touch and it's neat, 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 neat. And then you'll find a lump. And the consultant, when threading your sister lock through goes, oh, that's where it bunched up right? And then it catches, and then it catches, and then it catches. Every time a lock is placed through the regrowth, you're popping strands, you're popping, you're actually brushing and removing those fine strands that are the scaffolding that help hold your fine small locks. Eventually, it breaks off. Now, it breaks off because Many of you, when you choose to do sister locks, don't hydrate your locks. That's the law of sister locks. I mean, I'm an ex-certified sister lock consultant and water is not encouraged. But if you do not wet your locks, then that African texture hair that moves and coils does not know how to curl and move and to bind itself to ensure that it keeps, it acts as a scaffolding and it keeps that lock connected. Do you understand? So water is vital with small size locks water is crucial it's like number one number one most important locks care treatment for your hair hydration so if your hair is dry you're likely to get the stretching and this happens to some people so this post really is for those who are thinking why is my lock stretching it is because of the interlocking method where it's pulled through. It's pulled through dry. And even if you attend your, you start with your session with your hair dry, if the consultant isn't somebody who wets, because I thoroughly wet my client's hair as I go along, that elasticity is lost. And so that's why there's that pull and then it separates. The dryness is another reason as well for your locks to break off. Now, what I would say is to be able to avoid your hair from separating like that slowly, 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 and then stretching off. Hydrate your hair. Wet your hair. Wet your hair. If you are retightening your own hair, wet your hair, right? And then when you're retightening your hair, if you allow elasticity to come back into your hair, then that is likely, less likely to happen. But I'm going to say to you that the interlocking is part of the issue because the amount of times your hair is threaded through the regrowth, it can cause stretching. It causes the strands to pop off, even the new strands to pop off, because just that motion of putting it through, putting through, putting it through repetitively, dry, is going to cause those, that stretching to happen in the middle of your locks and thin out your locks. I hope this message gets to someone who is worried about why their sister locks or their small size locks, it's mostly sister locks I'm seeing this with, why there's this stretch in the middle. Carry on wetting your locks. Now, when you wet your locks, one of the worries why sister locks says avoid water, avoid the hydration, is that 
your hair is going to unravel. You worry about the slippage. And that's where knotted locks comes in. Knotted locks understands that water is vital. Water is a necessary part of taking care of your African texture hair. Enough of the rejection of your African texture hair. For you to really connect with your African texture hair, hydration is crucial and vital. That is your number one ingredient that you need for your locks. And so knotted locks enables you to have your hair knotted and then for you not to worry about your hair unraveling, right? And so you can introduce water to your hair. Do not choose a hairstyle that encourages you not to interact with water. It's one of the most dangerous things we're doing for African texture hair. You know, African hair, when water hits it, it changes, like it moves and it coils. That's like your smoke signal. That's like your waving of the flag. That's like joy. That's your African hair telling you, I like water is necessary. Water is crucial. It gives your hair strength and power. Right. So what you're supposed to do is dive into hairstyles that enable you to have moisture in your hair, not to run away from moisture, but to go into moisture because then you're able to have your African texture hair stay on your head because water is healing. Right. So knotted locks enables you to actually have your hair interact with water a lot more without the worry that your hair is going to unravel because that's the point of interlocking is interlocking is you worry that your hair is going to merge um it's going to tangle and i talk to one-to-one -to, -one to clients about that about the fact that you worry about your hair tangling and that's not a worry with knotted locks because you learn to keep your locks separated for longer with the knots so that's why knotted locks exist. It exists because you need to interact with water a lot more and you do not need to worry about your hair unraveling or tangling. More of this information is shared when you do the consultation. But I hope this message reaches someone who is worried about why does my hair do that? Because my hair used to do it and I didn't understand why. Thank you for watching this post. I hope this message help save somebody's sister locks. Take care of yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye.